This is problem number five from section 3.5. It is based on um, problem number one that we did previously, where we found for this um, matrix we had a repeated eigenvalue of minus three and its eigenvector um, of zero, zero, one. Uh, the general solution, in part A, they say, uh, give a general solution. And uh, as I presented in class, the general solution in this case of the repeated eigenvalue uh, is e to the uh, eigenvalue minus, minus 3t times an initial condition, v0, plus t e to the minus 3t v1, where, so the general solution has to include this part as well, where v1 is determined from v0 according to this rule, a minus lambda, so that's going to be a plus 3 uh, i times v0, v0, or uh, being specific, uh, it's the matrix 0, 0, 1, 0 times v0. In part b, we're given that, um, I want to write that in black. We're given that um, the initial condition is uh, in number five, the initial condition is one, zero. And so uh, we're asked to write the particular solution. And so in this case, um, I'll compute my V1 first. My V1 is going to be zero. 0, 1, 0, times 1, 0, which in this case, row times column gives me a 0, row times column gives me a 1. And, uh, and notice, now in this case, this v1 is identical to the eigenvector. In general, it won't be identical to it, but it will uh, also be an eigenvector, will be parallel, be, will be a constant multiple. So here's our v0, v0 and here's our v1, and we go ahead and, and write our particular solution as y of t is equal to e to the minus 3t times 1, 0 plus t e to the minus 3t 0, 1. Um, moving ahead, I, um, I went ahead and noticed that um, the x component, this, has, this term has an x component of e to the minus 3t. This has no x component because of the 0. So up here we see that our solution has as its x component e to the minus 3t and its y component t e to the minus 3t. We are asked to then sketch x of t and y of t. So using a calculator and going ahead and sketching these, it makes sense that x of t looks like an exponential. t e to the minus 3t, you get used to the fact that at time 0, it's 0. It grows a little bit, and then it also approaches 0 as t goes to infinity. I just want to use this as an opportunity, however, to reinforce. Um, so we, we got these pictures in problem number 1 technically without actually using our calculators to draw these. And so just one more time, what we're seeing here is uh, in the case of the repeated eigenvalue, uh, knowing the uh, eigenvector, we know that um, this is our one straight line solution, and I'm going to draw that in red. It is in the vertical direction. It's 0, 1. And uh, we were given an initial condition of a 1, 0. 
And so just as I, I did in the previous slides, I, I want to remind you that <clears throat> the thinking is, as we, as we look at this um, solution, um, <clears throat> we see that um, as, as time, um, at time zero, we of course are sitting here, but we have two choices as we move forward in time. We are either going to turn and, and approach um, uh, the origin in a direction uh, parallel to the eigen uh, vector direction. We can go this way, or we can go this way. And uh, the only way to to figure out which direction that we go in. So I'll I'll draw um, a picture. Hold on. So we could be coming from a direction parallel to the eigen vector, and then turning. I missed it, and then turning this way. Or we could be coming um, from this direction, again, parallel roughly to the eigenvector direction, turning and then ending up again parallel as we approach the origin. So which way to go? In both cases, these are supposed to be crossing at 1, 0. <clears throat> in, in both cases, the x component is negative. In both cases, on these curves, our x values are getting smaller. On the green curve, our x values are getting smaller. But on the green curve, our y values are getting bigger. Our y values are positive. Here, our y values, if we're at this point on this curve, our y values are negative. How do we decide which curve? We take our matrix, minus 3, 0, 1, minus 3. Pick our point of interest, in this case, 1, 0. Compute what we, we get. We get a minus 3 in x. Well, that makes sense. That would be true of both curves. But then we get a positive 1. Uh, and so our answer must be uh, the green curve. Okay. And our, um, we could also uh, see that, too, by looking at our, our uh, x of t, or more specifically, our y of t curve. At time 0, our y of t curve is 0, but then it turns positive. Well, on the green curve, we start at 0, and then our y values get positive. On this blue curve, we start at 0, and our y values get negative. So given these, I could have chosen the correct one, the green curve. Uh, but it's just important to see the relationship between the x of t, y of t, and the correct um, uh, the correct uh, graph. I don't know if it's if I can. No, I can't. Okay. Well, very good. I hope that helps. Thank you. Bye bye.